of all the stories of broken-hearted lovers, surely none was quite so tragic as that of the man who fell in love with the moon. Our story begins in a park one evening where the young man sat on the bench, utterly heartbroken. He'd just been dumped yet again, and this time by SMS. He knew there was nothing left to live for. There was nobody left on this earth for him, that was for sure. And he just about made up his mind to go and end it all and drown himself in the pond in the park, providing it was deep enough. When... Who was that? There, in the western sunset sky. And seeing her shy, silver smile, he fell in love with the new moon. While he could hardly sleep that night for excitement, she went for an early bed, of course, being but a young thing. And he spent the rest of the night roaming around the park, hoping beyond hope she might come here often. Well, the next evening he was there, dressed up in his best suit. And there she was again, a little higher in the sky this time. And... It seemed she was just as pleased to see him as he was to see her, because her smile was a little bit wider this time. And so, with each passing night, he could hardly wait for that fat old sun to sink in the west and leave the sky free for his love to radiate her beauty across the heavens. And with each night that passed, she rose higher and higher in the sky, shining brighter and brighter as she matured from being a young girl into a dazzling young woman. And finally, on the fourteenth night, she rose from the eastern horizon in a shimmering silver dress. And he could hold back no longer. He danced and sang for her the whole night through. He read out the poetry he'd been feverishly writing all month. He even climbed trees to be closer to her. But the moon never said a word and just passed on by, impassive, until she finally set in the west. Well, if she was playing hard to get, she'd find he was the man for the job. And he came back the next evening with fresh verses of poetry he'd been writing all day. But the skies were dark that evening. And though the moon did eventually rise an hour later or so, was it some trick of the light or didn't she seem a bit thinner than the night before? His worst fears were confirmed. When night after night, the moon grew less and less as she passed overhead. He brought doctors to the park, but when they saw the patient, they just shook their heads and wrote him out a prescription for some sleeping pills. And so, helpless and alone, he could do nothing but watch his love waste away until came the terrible night when she didn't arrive at all. He sank into a deep depression, sat there on the park bench day after day, not eating, not sleeping, surviving only on the cups of tea that concerned old ladies brought this poor young man in the park. And he just about made up his mind to go and throw himself into the pond when could it be there she was there in the western sky with that same 
shy, silver smile that won his heart in the first place. His love. Reborn. And all at once, he understood what had gone wrong. Of course, here in the city, with all the noise and the lights, she couldn't hear him or see him. If he wanted to win her heart, he would have to be alone with her. So he drove out to the desert, and out there, just him and her, she would have no choice but to give in to his love. And so for the next seven months, this young man entered upon this terrible cycle of ecstasy and despair as he watched his love grow and then fade away once more. Until after seven months, he could take it no more. And on the full moon night, as the moon was directly above him, he knew that he wanted her. He needed her. To have her and hold her and never let her go. And withdrawing a large knife from his belt, he drove it deep into his heart. And pulling it out again with a little bit of his heart on the end, he tied it to a fishing line. And pulling out a large knife, he drove it deep into his heart. And pulling it out again with a little piece of his heart on the end, he tied it to a fishing line and cast it up to the left of the moon, where a hungry star was waiting. The star bit on hard, and he pulled on the string and tied it around his heart. In again went the knife. And this time he cast it up to the right of the moon, where another hungry star was waiting. And he tied it around his heart, and he repeated this nine times until he had made a web around the moon, holding her there in place. Well, the next day when the sun came up, he was rather surprised to see the full moon there in the middle of his sky. And uh, he had a job to do, so he just passed on by and didn't pay her any mind. And so it was. The moon came to know a light and a heat that were never meant for her. And eventually, she was awoken from her ancient cosmic dream of being the moon. And finding herself held prisoner, she asked the stars what they thought they were doing. It's not us, they cried. It's him, look! And for the first time, the moon looked down on the earth and saw her lover, her secret admirer, passed out from the effort of winning her, held up only by his heartstrings. And she told the stars to all pull at once. And so the man was lifted up <clears throat> from the earth. He passed up through the sky through the atmosphere, and out into space. He was pulled through the darkness, the emptiness, until finally he was set down upon the surface of the moon. <sighs> you fool, the moon told him. Your love would have destroyed me. My light is for everybody. Not just you. But stay. Ride with me now. It will be a comfort through the dark parts of the night. 
and so it is. If you look very closely on a full moon night, you might just see a man in the moon. <laughs>